All right, combat resolved. It's back to my turn. We're going to send in this zombie. And then combat's going to switch over to Tom, and he's going to have to move. I don't imagine he's waiting for that game, though, so we'll move on. Ooh, I have a constructed challenge. We'll accept that. All righty. Uh, oh, we have an initiative first. So let's take a look at this. All right, so... We are going second, which is great. That means our Thought Plucker is amazing. We have cards that answer. Oh, this, this, this hand couldn't be better. We're just going to keep everything here. Most likely we're going to play Thought Plucker. If he has a zero and a gold usage that doesn't establish, then we'll go Psionic Assault to empty out his hand and then re reestablish with Kong and Endor Blue Dragon. Let's get back into the queue. We got some Dark Draft going on. Wasabi says it's our move. We're in round eight, so we did a lot of drafting. We're probably going to grab that Sea Titan. We're really wild heavy here, but um, hmm. I really dislike the idea of passing along a, uh, a T-Rex when we're so deep into wild. But, all right, I'm going to take T-Rex here, but passing, path, passing Sea Titan in Lash feels awful. Um... I really think uh, Sea Titan could be right. Sea Titan could be right, but I I like that. I, I want I like how deep we are into wild. We have Jungle Queen already, and I, I want to get T Rex onto the table on my side. That's a really tough pick. Um, okay, we want the ambush creatures. Uh, Jin of the Sands is a great card. I, I love Jin of the Sands. The problem is that we need to just have off turn plays. Right now we only have uh, one. Yeah, we only have one ambush creature, so we just need to get both of these and get them into our deck so we can establish off turn. Okay, let's get to our next one, Orion. Um, okay, we took Ancient Chant. We're gonna grab Psionic Assault and Word of Summoning and go to our next pack. And we just slam Lightning Storm. Alrighty, and then we have a dark draft here with Tom. We took this thought plucker. We're very happy about it. We get gifted Hurricane and Vampire Lord. Uh, we're just taking Vampire Lord because it's an off-turn uh, establishing creature that puts pressure on our opponent and grows out of control. Um, he also knows that we would have inner peace, so he's going to be drafting around that and playing around that. So I'm just going to ignore it. Um, especially because we don't really have good cards and I don't want to go deep into good. Um, Inner Demon would be an alternative to Vampire Lord, um, but I'd prefer to just have threats here. We have the off-turn sweeper and Hurricane, and we have a draw tooth there. This deck is drafting pretty well. Uh, there's a bunch of great cards here. Um, I know Tom tends to favor Sage Wild, uh, so I'm going to take Jin of the Sands away from him, try to force him into evil here. I doubt that I do that, like... What do we, we passed? So out of this pack, I expect that he took Lying in Wait and Lord of the Arena. And so if we take Jin of the Sands, um, we gotta make we're gonna punish Lord of the Arena as a pick. So he won't have uh, he won't have any good cards in this pack. So we'll grab Jin of the Sands. We'll hop out. All right, I'm all out of moves to make. So while we're waiting for a new challenge, uh, we will just go into campaign mode, hop in here and see what's going on. We won our last battle. Uh, we'll hop over here and Fever Dreams. Okay, I think we did this one last night, but it's Psionic Assault based. So we want to make sure we have some strong cards for our hand. Um, I think Spike Trap was good. This is a draw. This has recall, so all the cards here are good. We'll just make it work. As our opponent goes first, Let's pop up Twitch so I can get my chat just in case anybody has to say anything. Oh, there's a Steel Golem. Okay, uh, I was not expecting Steel Golem off the bat. Let's draw some cards. We could have banished all champions, but I didn't feel comfortable with that. Sea Titan will buy me a lot of time here. That's great. Uh, we'll have to just drink the Kool-Aid here. Pass. All right, these cards are good. We'll play Sea Titan. Sea Titan will buy us some time here. If he attacks again, 
Oh, Thought Plucker. Okay, we have Spike Trap for Thought Plucker. Bellowing Minotaur we only kept because it has recall. Um, we're going to Spike Trap the Thought Plucker and figure it out from there. Oop! So actually, we're going to get a really cool interaction here. Uh, we're going to be able to use Standalone. And we're going to get the good old, uh, you know, we're going to make a lot of things happen here. So first, we're going to go Standalone. Um, interesting that it says just standalone <laughs> for the uh, second mode. It doesn't say all the text. Uh, so he kept Thought Plucker, which is interesting. Uh, it's going to walk right into our Spike Trap. We're definitely going to choose to recycle, and we'll leave the recall card in there. Ancient Chant's a great draw for us. I wish we would have had it a second ago. Uh, if anyone's watching in chat and wants to send me a challenge, uh, Samote Knox is my name in game. Feel free to hop in. I'd love to do a dark draft with somebody. Um, so we'll just pass from here. Oh, I missed... I missed that they didn't have a play. That's interesting. Oh, no, I see what... Yeah, all right. Um... Let's send in the Sea Titan and see what happens. Place Thought Plucker, so we're going to discard Inner Peace. See how damage goes. Hopefully we get in there. He's blocking, which is probably the worst use of Thought Plucker that I could possibly imagine. That card's one of my favorites. Um... I, got, I was late to the chat, um, Chris. What's the issue with the link to a store and same sites and external hosting? Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is recall. Um, I was late to getting the chat up on Twitch, so if you could just let me know what you were talking about, Chris, that'd be swell. Uh, Plentiful Dead's great to jump block those Steel Golems. Our opponent has passed to us, so we'll just slam this Ancient Chant. And we'll slam a Watchful Gargoyle. Uh, we'll leave Ancient Chant uh, in case we ever need to get cards back in our hand. But I'm fairly certain that we've won this game. Oh, to buy sets online. Um, so I'm not 100% sure, but I believe if you go to their website, um, there's a, an access to their store. If that doesn't work, you can just um, Google for it. Uh, give me a second. I'll, uh, I'll do it for you. Um... Uh, the uh, it's epiccardgame.com is the, the the main site, but if you go to the store, they have a White Wizard Games store, and it's under White Wizard Games. So give that a shot. Um, I uh, I often I, I so I've disabled all the links uh, just to prevent people from jumping into the chat and messing with us. But um, yeah, so there we go. I'm also gonna make a zombie in this game. Uh, to get back to playing, um, and now we're going to see what we can do. All right, Apocalypse is solid. We're going to stop by attacking with our Flyer. Uh, we know that he's got a bunch of Chump Blockers. He likes to play Thought Blockers to Chump. So, see, there we go. We got it again. So, we're going to discard Inner Peace because we can bring it back with Angelic Protector. Uh, so, even if he does block now, uh, it's fine with us. And if he doesn't block, we get to just play Force Major Apprentice and kill Thought Blocker. Yeah. We're going to deal two damage. Uh, since it's the app and we know we're safe, we're going to attack with everything to save time. But um, we should be attacking one at a time. Anyone who watched my stream last night saw me get completely blown out by Gabriel Spike Trap. Um, so here we have a bunch of different scenarios. I like um, Angelic Protector on my opponent's turn to get back Inner Peace. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to revive the Ancient Chant out of my graveyard for a gold. And then I draw a card. So that, that's basically a draw two because I get back Ancient Trant and an extra card. It's a pretty cool interaction. Uh, so now my opponent's doing things. He's got a Steel Golem. There's a Psionic Assault and a Psionic Assault. Uh, they fit in Dragon Shields. I actually use Dragon Shields myself. Um, but you can use anything of that nature if, if you would like. So we're going to throw down this Angelic Protector, we're going to recall our inner piece. And you can just see here the value of the recall cards in relation to Thought Plucker and Psionic Assault. Um, because I was able to keep rebuying my cards, 
I'm easily able to uh, withstand getting hit by Thought Pluckers every turn. You know, I have more cards than my opponent does. Uh, now it's my turn. Still Golem's still in play. Um, we're going to see if we can bait out that Thought Plucker again. So we're going to uh, try to get control of this Watchful Gargoyle. Uh, let's, oh, we have to move over. Is that what it is? Yeah. So if you can see here, uh, what was what was happening to me? Um, it was a bit complicated. I was trying to get the creature on the end, which in this case is Angelic Protector. You can see if they're in a stack, you can't really get good control of them. So you have to just use the arrows to move. See, I can't get control of these until I go to the bottom for the bottom one. But I want Watchful Gargoyle because it has evasion. We'll send that one in first. And then uh, this is actually lethal because we have two damage from Watchful Gargoyle and uh, two damage from Force Mage Apprentice. And then we can play a two gold, or rather play a gold card, untap Force Mage and kill. Um, so this is presenting lethal to our opponent. They're going to play Thought Plucker. We're going to discard Inner Peace again. Uh, our opponent's gold is down, so we've won. So we'll just draw some cards. Prepare our Force Mage Apprentice. Deal two damage to Thought Plucker. Um, continue through. And then, again, since we know that they don't have Spike Trap or anything like that, we can just send in the Clowns. Okay, pass through the blocks. Sorry, just responding to some people on the internets. And we win! Yay! Continue. Let's go and see if anyone challenged us. Online play. No one challenged us. Uh, is anyone in chat on the app? I'd love to play with somebody. Uh, Dark Draft would be swell. Uh, if you have some time, feel free to just send me a challenge or let me know your, your name and I can challenge you. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing any different of the varied formats. Uh, they are, they're all interesting to me. So, you know, for a lot of this stuff, it's just about... Um, getting into games and seeing how the mechanics work, showing people some of the newer cards. Um, the graphics in the background. So you mean like the uh, the equivalent of the playmat? Um, the playmat or like the, the background of the mat isn't as interactive as Hearthstone. Uh, it's certainly, to, to me, it's more visually appealing than, let's say, MTGO uh, or something like that. Um... So Sullivan said that drafts in this game are the whole set. Is that just going to grow as new sets come out, or is it going to rotate? Um, so they're in discussions about that. Uh, they haven't confirmed either way yet. They they have a notion that they might do some sort of rotate where they keep the core and rotate out the expansions, or where they rotate out everything um, every year. How often are new sets coming out? Do they have a timed release? Um, so we got the core set in 2015, we got two expansions in 2016, I want to say that we're at least slated for two expansions in 2017, they might move to a situation again where it's core set plus two expansions per year, they might do something else, I'm not really 100% sure, and I'm not certain that they are either yet, they're really trying to see how the game takes off and where things go, um, you know, developing uh, new sets and balancing takes a lot of time and effort, and so they have to meet demand. Um, that said, I would love to get three sets a year. Um, that would be awesome. It would create a lot more innovation as far as the draft format goes. Um, in 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 paper, in person, drafting is a lot harder than it is with digital apps and computers, and the reason for that is just shuffling everything. And so, as long as shuffling is a as a as a barrier, I'd like for them to consider rotating the draft format, um, but I don't really know how that's going to go. Uh, so I'm going to back out, and oh, I'm just, maybe I should refresh, reload. No, I've got no moves to make. All right, so we'll go back into the campaign and grab another game. Uh, we'll go down here, see what we get. Something about uh, champion. All right. It is our opponent's turn first. We're probably going to be forced to ancient chant on their turn. We have some options on our turn. Um, this hand's fine. The White Knight we could maybe mulligan, but 
Will they use online play for world qualifying at all? Uh, yes. So as far as I know, um, they are intending to have um, apps, in-app qualifiers. They said so to me several times, so I believe them on that. The number of in-app qualifiers they, they are going to run, I don't know the answer to that question. They may also elect to run um, in-person app-based qualifiers. So like imagine you do seal deck or something like that, but they send out your pool to you via the app. And then you do the dark drafting via the app, so that way you don't have to actually have the physical cards. That might also happen. Um, they did something similar to that with Star Realms at Worlds last year. They had Star Realms 5Ks, and you had to have the app and, and the device with you to play in the tournament. You couldn't use your hand, your your um, real life cards. Uh, so my opponent played the People's Champion. He established a good board. We might be able to trick him later with a, a spike trap, but for now we need to draw some cards. And, Best way to do that is Ancient Chant, and we got a bunch of interesting things, so we're going to go back to our turn now. Uh, we got Sea Titan. We love Sea Titan. Um, we have a bunch of interesting options. I think Sea Titan here is just the best one. Uh, so we're going to place Force Major Prentice first. Force Major Prentice, we're going to expend to deal two damage to a human token. Take that out. Uh, then we're going to play the Sea Titan. We're going to prepare Force Major Prentice, and we're going to return the People's Champion to its hand. I have to imagine that he's going to have a lot of good cards, so he'd be able to get two, uh, two humans either way. And then now we're going to just shoot this human down, keep control of the board, and pass to our opponent. So we have to imagine that, yeah, see, nobody in a corner to come down. He would have got two tokens anyway. So bouncing C Titan was a good with with C Titan was a good play. And here comes the champ back with two tokens. Okay, our opponent's passing to us. Um, we're just going to recall Ancient Chant here. Uh, we're going to draw a card off that. This keeps up all of our options, and there's a great one. We have blockers and an advantage now. Okay. Um, so our, our opponent has enough power on board to kill our Sea Titan. Um, let me see if you can look at Standard Bearer. No, it's only for good champions. Hmm. <laughs> See, the problem with this situation now is that Noble Unicorn and the People's Champion are going to be able to trigger once we press priority. And I don't really know of a good way to get around that. Oh, we can Succubus, but we won't have Loyalty. That's pretty brutal. White Knight won't do too much. Um, yeah, I think we just have to do some damage control and play defense. I'm not really happy with where our hand is. What would be your biggest tip for those looking to get good at the game in regards to improving competitiveness? Um, I'm going to take a moment to answer that question because it's important. Um, the first is to just play the game a lot, and that may sound simple, but if you're used to playing games like Magic or playing games like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon, the tempo and flow of Epic is very, very different. There's no development phase of the game where you have to build up your resources to start deploying your threats. Uh, you start turn one at like 100 miles an hour, top speed, and every decision you make at every point um, has critical percentage points into how you will do for the rest of the tournament, or the rest of the game, rather. Um, I, I wrote an article, I, I posted on Tom's blog, and it was basically saying something along the lines of every turn is a battle, and you want to make sure that you don't lose too many battles. So like right now, I, I'm losing this battle because I don't have a good answer for these two cards. And my opponent definitely has uh, an event or an ambush creature to play that's going to trigger two more humans and drawing a card. So it's going to like establish his board a lot further than mine. I can't even attack with the Sea Titan and punish him for blocking because no, my Sea Titan would die and killing his stuff will happen after all the things that I need to happen would happen. Um, I think I'm going to play Succubus because untapping with it would be really good for me. And I don't need Blitz right now. And it can block a token if needed. Um, part of me wants to untap this Force Major Prentice, but it's just not going to happen. So we're going to play some defense. But um, yeah, I would definitely consider playing a lot um, of games. As many games as you can find time to play, that's what I would try to do. That'll get you the furthest. Yeah, so there's another Noble Unicorn, so he's going to draw two cards and make two humans. We're a little bit behind the eight ball. Uh, we're going to throw out this Gargoyle, even though we can't recycle because we discard anyway. And we need to get blockers down. Um, so, yeah, that's that's how we feel about getting good. Um, if you could challenge the better players um, from the, the game, 
I would consider that. So if you know Tom Sorensen, I would definitely consider trying to play with him. His name in the game is Tom Epic, Tom Epic Gaiman. Um, John Tatian's another great player. Um, I, I'd like to think of myself as one. Um, don't uh, don't play with one person or don't play with a small group. The more people you play with, the better for your ability to get good at the game, because a lot of your decision trees um, can get mucked up by playing with people that you know. Uh, so that's the best thing I could say. Uh, we're just going to block this noble unicorn with the Sea Titan, take that for free. That's great for us. Uh, assuming he attacked with the next noble unicorn, we're going to Angelic Protector. Okay, here we go. So we're going to drop in the Angelic Protector. We're going to target the Succubus. And then we're going to Chump Block. Or we're going to block with Angelic Protector. And we're going to Spike Trap. That should kill the People's Champ. Um... What do I think of the UI and the gameplay mechanics so far? Um, so there's a few bugs, which is normal in an alpha. You, you need to understand that part of being in an alpha, you look in the bottom right, there's an alpha sticker. Um, that's part of the deal. And as long as you're dealing with that okay and you, you're appreciating the fact that an alpha game is going to have some bugs, that's fine. So like White Dragon right now always recycles, and it probably shouldn't. And um, there are a few other cards in that vein that need to be worked on and they will do that but overall i mean i love the way the game works the passing back and forth i love the way that you can skip through the combat phase if your opponent elects not to do anything um there are a few things that i think they need to fix i need to I, i'm i've been putting a lot of different uh, notes into the the google doc that they asked us for um i put succubus in play last turn so we could banish the good champions so that's going to be great we'll do that right now um can you attack all at once or attack multiple times separately? Uh, the answer to that question, excuse me, the, the answer to that question is both. You can attack all at once and you can attack separately. There are cards that punish group attacks and there are cards that punish solo attacks. And so you kind of have to balance that out for yourself. I did this last night. I did it again today. I tried to banish an unbanishable champion. So this isn't a bug. This is me not reading or not paying attention. Succubus does banishing and the people's champion is unbanishable. Um, this is just, it's, it's probably what happens when you're streaming and you're trying to answer questions while play the game. Um, but that's okay. Uh, everyone makes mistakes sometimes. Uh, so once again, we have a pretty solid board. We have a flyer here, so we'll send him in. See how that does for us. It should go favorably. I expect my opponent's going to play a noble unicorn. Yep. Um, okay, comes back to us. We're not going to do anything here. Our creature's flying, so they're not going to send anything in at us. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, what is the... Okay, let's go back. Can you play randoms, or do you need to invite to a game? Um, you can play randoms. The thing is, with the way the challenges work, if the person's not online, the game will wait until they get on, and so I didn't want to do that. So if anyone in, 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 app, or in the chat has the game, feel free to challenge me. Uh, after this game with the computer, I'll go check my challenges, and we'll play. Um, so that's the answer to that. Uh, what is the benefit to attacking as a group? Uh, so if you've ever, if you've ever played Magic, there's a mechanic called banding, which is um, a very old school mechanic. But basically, you could put a bunch of small guys together to get through a big guy. So let's say our opponent put all these human tokens together, they could overwhelm my Watchful Gargoyle, so I wouldn't be incentivized to block. So he could get three damage in and keep all of his guys, and then keep the other one back. There there are reasons to do it. Also, if you wanted to play around lying and wait. That would be good for you. Um, you could play around ceasefire by attacking in a group. And so, like I said, there there are just trade-offs in the game where you have to decide what you want to play around. And to each person, that's different. Uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, welcome, Kinger, as well. Uh, we'll drop Winter Fairy in. Uh, we're going to prepare Force Major Apprentice. Oh, I, did, I forgot to use this first. Again, it's just not paying attention. Um, so we'll use it now, though. Uh, we'll... Shoot down a token. We're not going to block with this guy. And that, we don't need to gain life yet, and we don't need to... Actually, we'll stop off a token attack. Uh, gain four health. We're going to skip the loyalty because we're not attacking with anything. We can't target the Sea Titan that we have because it's untargetable. It stacks up their, uh, uh, It stacks up both their offense and defense. 
Um, and like so, and when I say their defense, um, what I mean by that is like you have to deal three damage to all of them. Uh, you do design damage to different creatures. I may not have been clear, so let me let me be a little bit more precise in what I'm saying. Um, if you put two creatures into combat, let's say in this case, Winter Fairy and Priest of Kalnor, we would have a group of creatures. They would come together. They would have five power and seven defense. Um, even though Winter Fairy has Airborne, Priest of Kalnor does not, so the group would not have Airborne. The The easiest way to say it is that the creature group that's attacking would have the least amount of abilities possible. So, if I attacked with Sea Titan and Watchful Gargoyle like this, I need to come over here to get to get access to it. right? Even though this has Airborne, this doesn't, so they can interact with it. And then even though this has Untargetable, this doesn't, so they can interact with Watchful Gargoyle itself, but they couldn't interact with Sea Titan. Then, when they chose to block, they could choose to block with one or more creatures. That's up to them. They would get to, to choose how to assign their damage as much as they wanted to either creature, and I would get to do the same. So what I had meant was, if they put three humans together in a group and attacked into me, and I had the three toughness creature, I would be less incentivized to block because my creature would die, whereas if they sent one in at a time, I could block one, and it would kill that creature, and then I would take the other two, and even though they would get two damage and they would lose a creature, and that might, may not be what they want to do. And so those are the differences. It would be it's basically a way to get more damage in because if they attack with the group of three, I'm put into a position of taking three or losing my creature. Whereas the other situation, it's I take two and make a better play for myself. So that's what I meant. That said, I don't want to attack here. His board's too aggressive. Uh, we're just going to pass to our opponent. Uh, they're probably going to play another People's Champ. Oh, here come the attacks one at a time, eh? Um. So we're not going to do anything about this just yet. We'll throw a Watchful Gargoyle in front. I imagine another human's going to come. Ooh. Okay, I took a damage from a human, but it's not showing. That's pretty weird. I believe that's just the glitch. Um, I just wish I get to see it later. Uh, I'm going to have to write that up to them. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'll answer anyone's question. Um, that's no problem. I, I would love for anyone to ask. Um, so feel free. Um, who would know? If you want to send me that link uh, privately, I can post it. But I have uh, links disabled because I don't want people to uh, abuse that feature in the chat. So... All right, we're going to throw a uh, Winter Fairy out in front of this human. You know, and again, we're just eating up these humans. Uh, I'm pretty certain that my opponent's going to play another The People's Champion. He probably should have done so before attacking with all this stuff. Um, so I have a really good punish for this Noble Unicorn attack. We're going to throw down the Standard Bear. It's going to make two, three, one humans. And then we're going to throw them in front of the Unicorn. Um, and anything you can do to get rid of Noble Unicorn uh, is a good decision. This card's really solid. It's one of the best cards in good in core set. Um, and so you just want to make sure your opponent doesn't get a bunch of free cards. Uh, so now my opponent can attack. And if they, yep, see, if he would have played this first, he would have made two more humans and gotten two more, um, excuse me, yeah, he would have gotten two more uh, tokens as well. Uh, rather, he would have got two more tokens and a card from the Noble Unicorn. That's what I meant to say. All right, we're going to send in the Winter Fairy. Uh, I expect my opponent's going to play um, another Noble Unicorn. I think his deck is just People's Champs and Noble Unicorn. Yeah. Um, so there we go. There's definitely some hidden things going on over here, and I'm not really happy about, but I can't control it. Uh, we'll deal two damage to a human token. We need to get over here, get access to our Succubus. Banish this Noble Unicorn. Okay, uh, we're going to finish our attack phase and draw a card. How to play epic card game battles. Um, that question is okay. So, um, Pluck You is face-to-face. -face. Um, I know every single member of the team personally, and we are good friends that used to play Magic the Gathering a lot together. And um, Jonah and I um, actually did a lot of our work together for Magic. Wither's amazing against... Uh, 
against AI names deck. Uh, we're, do, we're gonna fire this off on his turn after he makes a guy. Uh, but we'll send in our C-Titan. Um, Epic card game battles. All right, let me do that for you. Epic card game battles. Videos. Okay. There you go. There's the link that uh, who would know was trying to send to us. Let me get back to my game with the AI here. I imagine my C-Titan is going to get chump blocked by a human, but that's fine. I don't know if I'm going to get to see it or not. Yeah, there it goes. Yep, it just suddenly appeared to block. I need to definitely let them know about this bug with stacking human tokens. Um, we'll send in the flyer. Um, and I would like to get in with the other flyer. Okay, and then we're going to play this even though, so this attack would be lethal, um, but it's not going to end up mattering. Uh, we're going to select these two, show him. He's definitely going to block with one of his tokens. We could wither away, the, actually yeah, we should wither away the tokens. That'll kill the people's champ. And maybe it'll fix whatever this glitch was with all the humans. Yeah, there they go. See, this human's showing, but it should be definitely dead. So this is just a glitch. Uh, let me print screen. That way I can show them that I just cast Wither and there is an issue. Uh, hopefully the People's Champions has only Blocker, so he'll use it. Yeah, another another visual bug here where there's a human token that's blocking even though it's not in play anymore. Okay, uh, my opponent has now ended their turn. We're going to play Plentiful Dead to make a zombie. Um, we're going to draw two cards with the Ancient Chant. Oh, those are good cards. Uh, and then we'll come to our turn. Um, so we know what our opponent's deck has, so because of that we're going to just add the Succubus to the combat and call this a, a match. Uh, and it's mostly just because we know that they don't have any responses. All they have is Noble Unicorns, so they won't be able to deal with it. And I want to get out of the game. Yep, there it is. Make some tokens. And that's that. He's going to take uh, 13, go to negative 3, and we're going to be able to move on. Yep. All right, go back to the main menu. Let's see if we have some challenges. Hopefully we can do something. Nope. All right, uh, let's see if we can just put a blind challenge out there and see if we can get something. Um, let's go with a random 30 uh, challenge. I like to play Sage. So we'll throw that out. Oh, they send it to Tom. That's funny. Um, I'll see if he responds. Um, also, I can't say they don't have random challenges. Interesting. What about new game? There we go. This is what I meant. Um, hmm. So we'll throw out a beginner, a beginner one. There we go. Me and MW Deans are going to play. Uh, random 30 is, yeah, completely random 30. I have not been able to pick an avatar yet, but I don't know if it's changeable. I haven't gone looking. I've uh, been pretty much just streaming and living my life as best I can. Uh, we got a bunch of interesting cards here. We have Juggernaut. Our opponent goes first. Um, so we're probably going to be drawing two here. I like all the cards in our hand. Frost Giant is probably the weakest, but that's two turns away. We'll have a play. Uh, we we have we basically have a play for the first four turns and we have a good zero so we'll see what color MW Dean's picked. Um, if you're to ask me to rank the core thirty decks, I have Sage first, Wild second, Evil third, Good fourth. Um, Kickstarter says they're adding avatars later, so that's possible. I, again, I I when I was backing the Kickstarter, I didn't really care too much about the features. The only things I cared about was getting access to Dark Draft, getting access to Cube Draft, and whatever special rewards you were going to get. Um, I, I knew I was backing the game either way. Um, so I backed up to Demigod tier, which is why I had the game Monday. Um, and and we got Dark Draft, and we got um, Random 60, which when that comes, that'll be great. Random 60 is the way that you qualify for the Swiss 
for the limited tournaments. So that's a good thing to be able to practice. That said, um, we should also get Cube Draft at some point. You know, I, I said to them that that was probably the most important app thing for the players to get because there's no real way for us to test Cube Drafting right now. Like, you need to get eight people together to play. That's kind of difficult to do. Even Pluck U, as like, I think we're the only organized team, at least the only one that has a name, as far as I know. And we have six members. And so <laughs> getting an eight person Cube Draft together is pretty difficult. Uh, it looks like MW Deans isn't in this game, so I'm going to hop out, and maybe they'll make a play later. We can come back, to. Uh, let's go back to New Game. We'll go to uh, Real Time. We'll go with Duel. I, I think Duel's the one that would give us what I want. And then we can do... Um, we can do Random 30. So we're waiting for that opponent to answer us. See how it goes. If, uh, if, if no one gets in here in the next like minute or two, I'm going to hop in. What is the campaign about? Um, so the campaign is heavily underworked. They've said so in the in the email for um, the, the alpha. They're going to be adding a lot to it. There's going to be a place to gain prizes and in-game rewards. For now, uh, okay, you'll do a random 30. Great, just uh, challenge me, and I will back up, and we can play. Um I don't know what your name is in game, uh, veteran explorer. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty sweet. Um, the campaign right now, you just move around the map and do like random encounters. It seems, um, what's your name in the game? I'll challenge you. Uh, fire paw three or fire paw three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, challenge to random. Ah, oh, it's all right. Well, uh, challenge fire paw three. There we go. What just happened? Fire pull three. Oh, I see what I did. I hit profile, not send challenge. Okay. So I sent you a challenge to show in. Take your time when when you get in. We'll play a little bit. Um. But uh, yeah. So campaign, you just walk around and you're supposed to be. Oh, I got a dark draft with king or firing off. That's good. All righty. And Fire Paw 3, that game is starting. Great. Uh, we have to pick two. We started with Rage. Rage is a solid card. Uh, I'm feeling evil this draft. We're gonna, we're just going to commit right away to heavy evil. Uh, in order to get good to do well with evil, you have to, to really do it early. And so that's what we're doing. Uh, we're going to hop into our game here with Fire Paw 3. Random 30. Let's see what we got. All right. So right away, we have a card that doesn't have loyalty for us. A card that we're not going to be able to use effectively. Um card that we're not going to be able to use effectively. So we're going to mulligan these four because we're really just chasing good cards. Um, our opening hand's pretty weak. Oh, don't worry if you're slow. Don't worry about that. We're just going to be having some fun. You know, there's no ladder, nothing like that. So it's all just about teaching the game and having a good time. Oh, <laughs> so we mulliganed away some cards that weren't so great. And then uh, we got my favorite card. So this is the first time we've been able to feature it tonight on the stream. So I'll go through it a little bit. Um, Thought Plucker is where the, where the team name Pluck You came from. Uh, when we first saw this card, we're like, this is the best card in Epic. We love this card. Um, it's got a bunch of really th good things going for it. Uh, first of all, it has Ambush. Any creature that has Ambush is immediately put to top tier level of skill because um, cards that have Ambush can be played on our opponent's turn, and they also establish our board, so that's great. Um, when it comes into play, your opponent discards a card and you draw a card, it's target, so it can be stopped, but, uh, by the Gudgeon, which we don't have access to yet until Uprising, or Tyrants, rather. But, you, basically, it's a recursive, a recursive point of card. Oh, All right, uh, so that is a Rampaging Worm. So, my favorite way to stop Rampaging Worm is with a whole bunch of blockers. So, we're gonna make six blockers here. Get into Declare Blockers, slide one of these guys forward. So because it doesn't have Breakthrough, it's very easy to stop by an army of tokens. And that's what we did. That said, now we're very light on... Um, so our opponent played Corpse Taker, which is usually better to wait until you're, uh, you have cards in the graveyard so you get the ability. Uh, but we'll take our turn. Alright, Pyromancer is pretty sweet. Um, I'm actually, 
none of the cards in my hand are really super solid. I don't want to use Pyromancer to kill this, so I'm going to Lash it. And um, I have other options here, but I'm just going to recall this Lash. Um, there's no reason for me to use cards just yet. Um, and I could start attacking with these human tokens, but I don't want to punish myself. I want to see if my opponent's going to use their gold or not. If they do, that's fine. And if they don't, then I can make my... Like, if they use their gold to draw cards, then I'll attack. Otherwise, I'd rather just make sure I have a bunch of turns saved up to block this Rampaging Worm. So there goes Memory Spirit. Uh, now, now we get rewarded because we deal 4 damage with Pyromancer. Memory Spirit has 4 toughness. And we get to keep all of our tokens. So like it's the best of both worlds. Um, tokens is mostly humans. Uh, there are evil things that make tokens. Um, I, I posted a humans uh, token deck. If you go back to my video archives, um, I have a bunch there, and my YouTube channel also has stuff. I have to put a link to the YouTube channel onto this uh, onto the page, which I'll do after this stream. Um, but, oh boy, what did I do? So, okay, much better. I zoomed in on the wheel. Uh, we have a Rampaging Worm coming at us. So anyway, if you wanted to take a look at some things that you could possibly do with tokens, um, I, I have a deck I, I put up. Tom Sorensen's also made a deck, so there's a couple of different ways to go about it. It's all up to what you want to do. Army of the Apocalypse, our opponent drew two, that's fine. We're still in the attack phase, so I'm going to be able to chump block here. Um, tokens get a lot better when, up when Tyrants becomes available. You get both... Um, Insurgency, which is make four humans, and they, and all your humans become unblockable, and you get Revolt, which is make a human give it Blitz. All of your humans get all of your champions get plus two plus zero. So like those two together are just amazing, and you really would like to get a handle a hand on them. So if we draw an evil card, ooh, that card's pretty good. So now we have a combo here. We can Kong and Lash to kill the Rampaging Worm. Um, but we're gonna just start by attacking with our Pyromancer and see what happens. We know we have Lash and Drain Essence, so it's pretty safe to do this. And we could also just throw uh, our gold into 4 damage. Uh, but yeah, so t Tokens is missing a little bit right now. You also get Battle Cry from Uprising, or rather from Tyrants. I keep saying Uprising because that was the last set, but I forget that uh, Tyrants came before. Um, you get Battle Cry, which is the equivalent of Overrun. And if you use it on your opponent's turn, uh, Overrun. Um, will uh, draw you two cards. So if you use it defensively, it's pretty sweet. Uh, and then we're just going to lash the Rampaging Worm. You see here, my opponent doesn't get a chance to respond. So even if they had some kind of pump spell or anything like that, they wouldn't be able to use it. Uh, now that they've uh, lost the, the, the reason why we had these human tokens, we're going to send one in and see if our opponent has a response. They haven't used their gold yet, so they can punish me. But if the punish is killing my 1-1 human, then I'm pretty okay with that. Alright, so we get in with the human. Uh, once again, we're just attacking one at a time to play around Spike Trap or a big ambush creature. Um, you know, if we were playing face-to-face... You know, I, I would ask if it was okay to shortcut the combat. See, there we go. There is a creature being played. Uh, this creature returns good creatures from the discard pile into play. So now we're going to check. There's no discard creatures that we care about. So that's fine. So now he's made his block. He's used his gold. So now we're just going to send in both to save time. And there it is. Uh, there are some zeros that could have been played there to punish us. Um, so when the new expansion comes out, Good splashing alignments is definitely the way to go. Right now, there are there's like a it, the splash is a bit heavier. There you basically end up playing like six to nine cards of every other color, but it's focused mostly in good because that's where a lot of the token making is. Um, and that's if you want to play tokens like dedicated tokens. Tom Sorensen built a deck that doesn't play dedicated tokens. It's got like Secret Legion and some other stuff, but it basically just plays all the good cards in the core set and then throws some tokens in. And so I'm not sure I would call that a token strategy. It's a deck that has tokens in it. It's a, it's, a, it's a different categorization to me. It doesn't make it bad or wrong. It's just different. 
Uh, but now it's Firepaw's turn. Here comes Drinker of Blood. Uh, that card's interesting. Um, we're definitely going to Pyromancer that on our turn if we get a chance to. Uh, but we're going to see what uh, Firepaw follows up with. Uh, I definitely want to throw... Okay, so here comes the attack. Um, we could play Drain Essence and kill this, but that would have Drinker of Blood fire off, and I don't want to do that. And I really want to play Thought Plucker. Um, and so we're going to take this 4 damage. All right, we got Fire Shaman down. Our opponent is now ending their turn. Their gold is down, so they won't be able to use Fire Shaman. So I'm going to throw out Thought Plucker. Now they're going to lose one of these two cards, which is great for us. And we're going to put them into a position where they have no cards in their hand. And that's really good for us. Okay, Wave is down. That's great. That's, a, that's, a, that's like a board sweeper. We definitely don't want our opponent to have that on us. Uh, so we'll go to our turn. Okay, so we're going to use our gold to deal 4 damage and destroy Drinker of Blood. Uh, get that out of here before any life gain shenanigans goes on. Now we're going to send in Thought Plucker. Uh, they discarded Wave of Transformation, so that makes me think he's got a draw 2 or some kind of effect here. Yep, Ceasefire. That's fine, that just means he's going to have to discard to Ceasefire. And we get to draw, excuse me, draw a card. Or rather, he's discarding to Thought Plucker. Does gold not refresh on yet? Gold does refresh every time. Uh, you can queue online randomly, uh, Ben. Uh, I did that earlier. It just it doesn't seem like too many people um, have been doing that, queuing up randomly. So the, the pool is kind of small. As the app gets out to more and more people, there will be more and more people in the queue. Just right now, it's been a problem. How did... Th I thought he just discarded Thunderous. What? I'm very confused as to what just happened. Um, I thought Thunderous was discarded, and now it's in play. I... Okay. And his gold is up. That seems like a bug, right? Yeah. Uh... Oh, his angel brought it back. Okay, good point. Great. I wasn't paying attention to the other things in the game. Okay. Um, no problem. Well, that angel seems pretty dicey. And so we're going to have to figure out something about it. Um, I think I'm going to just throw out this blocker and block the angel. Um, I definitely do not want Angel of Mercy to get out of hand. I'm overextending a little bit. Um, we got rid of Wave already, and I think if uh, Firepaw had a sweeper, they would have played it already. But this is definitely um, a bit more of an overextension. Normally here, I'd probably just Drain Essence because I was so far ahead on board, I wouldn't want to waste my pressure creatures, but I'm holding Drain Essence in the dream that I can put Medusa together. Okay, so we know where this blue dragon's going to be heading. There's no world where we get to pluck someone twice. Pluck her down. Oh, blue dragon gets juiced because of Thunderous? That's brutal. That is brutal. Um... All right, uh, I think we start out by sending in Kong and seeing what happens. We have a bunch of interactive plays here, so we'll see what our opponent decides to do about Kong. Secret Legion. I saw this play. I did it before. Okay. Token down. So right there, I could have picked up my Lash and lashed him, but it wasn't really worth it. Um, I'm going to send in my Ice Drake, see what we can get rid of. We have our opponent down to one card, so 
the more things we can get out of him, the better. Um, I've won the game turn one on the play multiple times. That is the quickest game I've ever seen played. In limited, uh, I died on turn two. That was the other quickest game I've ever seen played. My opponent just took the damage. That's very interesting to me. Um, because of that, um, I'm going to drain Essence Blue Dragon right away. Get that out of here. That'll also pad my life total and prevent damage from being shot around. Uh, there's nothing else here that's worth attacking, so we'll just pass. Um, so the answer to like winning on turn one, like it, it's happened, but it was in the human tokens deck, and it was like, um, what was it? It was secret or it was Paros, um, secret legion double rally. Um, but like more realistically, it's turn two, turn three wins that are more prevalent. Uh, we're just gonna take ten from this thunderous. There's no re oh wow, I didn't see the gold dragon. Um, yeah, we have to draw two cards. Wow, that's that's pretty brutal. Okay, uh, we may end up losing this game to the life link there. The fact that he has thunderous and three dragons in his hand is pretty impressive. Uh, nothing we could do about it. I really tried to keep his hand size down, and he managed to just draw the right cards off the top. It's just too much power level for me to handle. We only have the one flyer. It's so brutal. All right. I'm going to start with Faithful Pegasus. Time to recycle. We're going to put Thought Plucker and Secret Legion on the bottom and draw a card. Alright, and we're back in the game. Whew! Alright, so Medusa can kill Thunderous, which is great for us. That'll keep us alive. Um, but we can Zombie Apoc first, and that'll be good for us. So since we're gonna zombie apoc, let's um we're gonna use Faithful Pegasus to give our courageous soul flying. Get in for four and pump the team. I think this is actually glitched out. I think it had everything get double pumped. I think it gave Faithful Pegasus the ability of um, Courageous Soul because I attacked in a group. I have to check that out because that's pretty broken if that's an actual mistake. Oh, Lightning Storm. That card's brutal. Whew. Let's see how we're using Lightning Storm. Now remember, uh, we have the Lash in the graveyard still too, so we might be able to win this turn. Depending on how this turn plays out. Alright. So let's count up some numbers. Our opponent has one, two, three defense. Um, he can... Uh, what is happening? Okay, let's close this. Our opponent has four blockers and... A fire shaman, so that's that. If he chump blocks Kong, we can get in for, for 20. That's not lethal. Uh, we're going to be one short of lethal. Is that what I'm counting? Um, let me double check. Lash gives 4. Kong will be 21. Even if you block with fire shaman, we're one short of lethal. Um... I still think that's my best play, so that's... Yeah, we're going to Kong. Let's see how the block goes. So 
So here comes declare blockers. There's just a human token. Yeah, so we're going to grab Lash back out of the graveyard. We're going to cast Lash, target our Kong. Get in for 20. Get in for 10. Wait, why is their life total? What? Why did he gain 10 life? This is another bug? No good champion dealt damage. I mean, this is pretty frustrating. Uh, my opponent, let's look at the game log and see what it says. I mean, my ice rake is expended. Uh, I don't know why you gain 10. Um, I would appreciate if you could just concede if you're at 10 or less uh, veteran explorer. That's just a mistake. Um, I can't figure it out. Anywho, um, I guess take your turn. Oh, now you're at six. That's pretty weird. I don't understand what's going on in the world anymore. You're at six. It's it's actually it, it corrected itself for some reason. So don't worry about it. Just keep going. Alright, well, uh, while Firepoor's getting ready, I'm going to check some of these things. i got a beginner move here with W. Dean. we got some solid cards. Our opponent's going first. They played a Tri Horror. Um, that's pretty unfortunate. We're going to lead off with Ice Drake. Show them Standalone and Juggernaut. Target our opponent. Tap all of his champions, or expend all of his champions. All right, lying in wait's the perfect answer for that. Uh, we're gonna play a Juggernaut, and we're gonna show these two to draw a card. I should have attacked with the Ice Drake first, but uh, while that's happening, we'll get back into the game with Firepaw because that's almost over. Yeah, I mean that was a very delayed update. Um, it was I, I had to pass the turn for it to update the the, the health. Alright, so Thunderous is coming in. Uh, we set up that to do Zombie Apocalypse off turn. So we're going to get rid of all these dragons and humans. And make a bunch of zombies. So he's got four more zombies than I have. Recalls Lightning Storm. That's a very good play. It's very aggressive. Uh, that's very aggressive. Um, send in a zombie token. See what happens. So we know our opponent's hand is Lightning Storm, random card. So they're in a tough predicament. If they choose to Lightning Storm my fate, yeah, I would just block for the first couple of creatures. That makes a lot of sense to me. We're probably just going to trade off some zombies here. Um, again, in, in paper, we would just say, you know, three for three and move on. But we have to go through this. 
Because if I attack with two, he can just block with one, and it kind of wastes my turn. And I can't trust, you know, we can't really communicate. We we shouldn't be communicating uh, through the app yet, so. All right, we'll just get through this. Um, I've got three, so he'll go down to four tokens. Um, yeah, I know what my play is going to be, but we'll see what his play is. Yep, this is just part of playing the game on the app. And here's the last combat phase. So, our opponent was way ahead. Um, we could, like, recall our Lash and put him to one here, but one isn't dead. So, we have to just keep going. This champion has a breakthrough. It also goes as a card. It's just the best possible confluence of events for us. So we'll play that. Our opponent might play uh, <clears throat> Lightning Storm. They may not. We'll see how it goes. It really just depends on what the other cards are. Of course, my phone starts acting up. Here comes Lightning Storm. Let's see who the target is. I'm sure it's just going to be my face. There it is. We're at four. Our opponent draws for turn. And they have Forked Lightning for the win. So Firepower got us. What deck did I play at Worlds? Uh, so I played two different games at Worlds. Um, all right, I played... Uh, I played in the main event at Worlds, I played a evil-based anti-Kark deck that Rich Shea and Jonah also played. Jonah played 75 of 75 and made top 8 uh, with the deck. You have to realize that Constructed was just the last three rounds. Um, so I was playing to be in the top rack with the Kark players. That's the deck that we built. Unfortunately, I took an unintentional draw in round 4, and I got bumped down. And somehow that put me into the Sage Wild bracket. And we had made a lot of deck design choices to make our matchup against Sage Wild worse. And so instead of winning out, I ended up losing. Uh, my two losses that knocked me out of contention were to John Tatian, who won the event, and to Will Morgan, who got second place. Um, yeah, the AI has been really good with a lot of that stuff. Some of the b visual bugs and stuff, they can work out. But as far as choosing targets, dividing damage, things like that, it's been really, really good. I've been really enjoying the AI. Um, so... What are we doing? We did. We showed loyalty. We drew the transform. We sent in the juggernaut, and we pass. Okay, we'll back out. We're gonna play a couple of games at once. Uh, drop into random thirty. It's our move. Okay. We've got dark leader, which is the worst card in the game, but we kind of need all this stuff. Who's? They're going first. So we need an off-turn play, so it's going to be this card. Uh, I think I'm just going to mulligan these three, keep the two best cards. Necromancer Lord's good, but without loyalty, it's hard to justify, and I don't want it early before we have targets. And now we have good cards in our hand. Oh, I thought they were going first. Oh, it must have passed me priority initiative first. Um, all right, so we have two reactive cards, an ambush card, a card that we're not going to be able to give loyalty to and we don't want to recycle, in the draw two. We're going to just pass. Our hand's very reactive. Awesome. I like the people that are learning. Um, the more the better. We will accept our challenge from Kinger. And we'll play my controlly deck that I built off the top of my head last night. Um, so I think Kark is the best um, deck in the format by a pretty wide margin. Um, there are decks that can be built to attack it. 
The problem is those decks lose really hard to the Sage Wild decks. And so as long as that's the case, I don't think we're going to see too much of those of the confluence of that events. Uh, we've got two Slow Champions and Juggernaut and Winter Fairy. We have no play for our opponent's turn. They're on the play. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we have to keep Wither in case they have Muse or Thought. Well, we have we have we have Force Major Apprentice. Yeah, we're gonna throw these two back. See what we get out of it. Uh, all right, we got another card. We we're pretty like we were pretty weak. We have to hope that our opponent tries to establish, and that Drain Essence can counter their first turn. Otherwise, we're pretty far behind. And then we're dark drafting with Kinger. Oh, this is a solid pack. Uh, Erase and Spike Trap are great. Standalone is solid, and Chomp and Pack Alpha are also solid. But Erase is definitely the pick here. What do we have so far? Uh, we're trying to make evil work. Okay, what did we just pass? No, we didn't pass those cards. I mean, that was our pack one pass. That's fine. Um, Memory Spirit and Warrior Golem are the best two cards out of this pack, so we take them. Get back into Constructed. Now we have the beginner game going. Uh, yeah, so I, I do think Kark is going to be very dominant. Uh, Dark Leader, that's great for us that our opponent has Dark Leader. That card does next to nothing. Even if he makes a blocker, it doesn't really matter to us. We have Breakthrough. Um, Burn was never a viable deck, and it will never be a viable deck as long as Kark is a win condition. Like, if the incentive is to get to 60, the Burn deck is trying to get to 0, and all the life gain cards are twice as good as the Burn cards. Um, so if Kark is the competitive tier 1 deck, I don't think Burn's where you want to be. Burn has a, like, an infinite amount of cards, like, between Flame Strike, Fires of, um, Rebellion... Savage Punch, like, there's so many burn cards that are solid cards, but you just can't keep up with the life gain. Like, you spend one gold to deal eight, I spend one gold to gain ten, and that card has recall. I could just chain them back and forth. And then if you play Strafing Dragon, I can play Rescue Griffin and block. <clears throat> uh, so Deans is blocking with Dark Leader. I imagine Deans is also going to make a human. Nope, forgot to. That's great for us. Uh, we're pretty far ahead here. We can tell Deans is a true beginner. Making a couple of mistakes. So we're just punishing that right now. Um, we'll pass. And we'll uh, pass again. And we'll end our turn. Alright. Um, I'm assuming Deans is going to send in this try hard. We're going to play Lying in Wait and have a party. All right, so we mulligan two. We didn't get a draw two, but we got back a winner, a drain essence. Uh, they're passing to us, so we're just going to take that immediately. Uh, or throw down a winter fairy because we need to draw multiple cards here. And now we're back in business. We're going to hold Force Major Apprentice until they have Muse or Thought Plucker. <clears throat> like, it's not worth it just to get in two damage here. Um, our deck is a control deck. We're not trying to win via damage. Uh, while Kinger's thinking, we'll jump into the other game that was waiting for us. It's the Dark Draft with Kinger. Uh, this is the one where we were forcing evil, got pushed out of it, and the cards we took are okay to get pushed out of. T-Rex is... Oh, man. So this is a tough pack because we're so far from from, from uh, Wild. T-Rex is probably the best card in the pack. Um, but I think we're going to just grab uh, Trike here. But that's a tough pack to pass. Uh, we're just going to grab Ancient Chant Hurricane. Do we have off? We have an off turn play. Um, yeah, Ancient Chant Hurricane is where I want to be. Get the draw twos out into our deck. Get back to this game with Kinger. Kinger had final test to draw two. That's great for us. That means our establishing play was solid. Uh, we'll pass right back. Kinger takes their turn. So our Winter Fairy's doing work, and uh, we have Drain Essence Protection and Ice Drake Protection. So we're, we're pretty comfortable on our opponent's turn here. While Kinger's thinking about life, I'm going to slide over to my game with Deans. I'm imagining this Trihar is coming in. We're throwing out a Lying in Wait. And since it gets banished, the ability of uh, when it gets broken doesn't trigger. It gets banished away. So that's like a really big blowout in my favor. So instead of getting three demons, he gets nothing. Uh, as Willy Wonka would say, good day, sir. <clears throat> and it looks like Kinger is playing our draft as we play our constructed game, which is pretty fun for me. 
Um, okay. Uh, we're pretty much all over the place. We have a, a sudden concentration in uh, Sage, which is good. Keeper's probably my one of my favorite zeros, but so is Flashfire. Uh, these are both really good cards. Um, I'm going to take Flashfire because I want draw twos and sweepers. Um, but Keeper's a really good card, and I hate passing it. Uh, out of here, we want Lash, and we'll take Banishment. And then we'll get back to our game with Kinger. All right, Avenging Angel coming in, Drain Essence, sending it out. And this is why Drain Essence is like the best card in the game. Not only did I get rid of his guy, I gained 9 life, so I can take a hit later. Uh, and it's, uh, Drain Essence is another reason why uh, <clears throat> why um, Burn's not very good. Like, kill your best guy, gain 9 life. Watch Darth Vader cry. Uh, it's just pretty brutal. Um, so I'm going to hop out. We can check the game here with Deans. Uh, Deans drops in an Apocalypse. That uh, should be breaking uh, Unquenchable Thirst just to gain some life. That's fine. What did we lose? A Juggernaut? That's okay. All right, we'll go to our turn. Um, of these cards, this is the weakest. So we're just going to draw two cards. We could pass there, um, but it's our turn, so we have pretty much autonomy to do what we want. Uh, we'll exit out of here, head over to the game with Kinger, the Dark Draft. Um, we're all over the place playing draw twos and good cards. Um, I'm going to grab Dark Assassin. We're going to get back to trying to force evil, see if we can get it to work. Get Murderous Necro, and Inner Peace is great for the draw two deck. Um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to force evil, which is not always the best plan, but I want to see how it works out for me. Wither on Winter Fairy is awesome. That means we draw a card, he loses a card. That's like amazing. Here comes Watchful Gargoyle. That lets him recycle. Kinger has probably been watching my stream and knows how aggressive I am about uh, controlling the graveyard. So he's trying to get his uh, recycles in whenever he can, and that's fine. Uh, so pass to me. I'm going to take my turn. Got a lot of strong cards here. Uh, now we're a bit further developed as far as our hand size goes. Um, and we have answers to the cards I'm worried about. So we're going to kill his Watchful Gargoyle. We're going to go deal two damage. Select Watchful Gargoyle. Then we're going to play Juggernaut. And we'll show, we'll prepare Force Major Prentice. And we'll show Amnesia and Winter Fairy. I'll draw a card from the Ice Drake. Hey, Ricky, how's it going? We got Thought Plucker. It's always a good day when we're plucking people. Uh, let's take this back. We're going to expend this first. Deal two damage. Pop that Watchful Gargoyle. Send in the Clowns. So here we can see our opponent has five cards. We have six, and we have board control. This is what we we're trying to get in all times. More cards in our hand, more cards on the table. Can we zoom in on Plucker? Oh, anytime you want, Ricky. So, uh, Thought Plucker is my favorite card. You can see why. It does a lot of amazing things. Um, it's got Ambush, which is amazing. You can play it on your opponent's turn. That's what it says right here in the textbook. Um, unblockable. It's literally can't be blocked. It's amazing. Tribute means when it comes into play. Uh, and you can see it's target opponent discards a card. You draw a card. And whenever it deals damage, that ability is repeated. So that's really strong effects. All right, here comes Angelic Protector. That's fine. It's going to block my Juggernaut. He's not going to take damage, but we don't really care about Angelic Protector. That card's not very scary. Uh, we're probably going to end up uh, erasing or Drain Essencing that on his turn. But, you know, part of the great thing about Drain Essence is that we took... We gained nine, so we can afford to take five, and it won't really matter. Uh, let's get back to our game with Deans. Uh, core set, Ricky Roma. It's from the base set, so that's why it's so good. Our opponent played Demon Breach. Our gold was down because we used Deadly Raid to draw cards. That's fine. Not a problem. So now if, if Deans attacks with both creatures, we'll blow them out with Spike Trap. Uh, it looks like he's thinking about his play, so uh, we'll hop into the game with Kinger. Oh, this is the draft, actually. Uh, we're forcing evil, so we're going to grab Dark Knight. 
but a couple other cards could be good. Dark Knight's also solid to zero. All right, and now we get rewarded for forcing evil. Woohoo! Grab Apocalypse, and we'll grab Inner Demon, and uh, that's nice. Uh, get into our game with uh, Kinger. Okay. We're being attacked by Angel, the Angel. We're just going to take that for right now. Um, our opponent's gold is up, and even though they have the Angel, we're ahead on life and board presence. So Kinger has to use their gold still before we do. And that gives us a lot of information to make good decisions. Actually, you win by uh, decking yourself in this game. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, that said, in Constructed, um, winning via deck never, almost never happens because Amnesia is one of the most commonly played cards, and Banish in this game is put to the bottom of Library, so it's basically a free Feldens cane that draws you a card. So uh, it's very rare to win via decking in this game. Uh, further, uh, in, in, in the new sets, we get more and more things that do stuff like that, um, that make you... Uh, you know, put cards into your graveyard. Heinous Feast comes with uh, Tyrants, and then Erratic Research and Grave Demon come with uh, Uprising. And there's even more, like, pit, like one-ofs that put one card back here and there, like Guilt Demon, Keeper of Secrets, Corpse Taker, uh, Corpse Monger. There's a bunch of Banish effect, and all the recycling puts cards on the bottom, and if you don't recycle, you run out of cards pretty quickly. And so um, winning via deck out and constructed is very, very rare. Uh, getting lower than 30 cards in your deck and constructed is even more rare. Like It just almost never happens. In limited, it comes up quite a bit. Um, and that's what the the one deck that I'm building for the, my match with Kinger is setting that up. Uh, so Palace Guard's a fine play. We're walking him into an Ice Drake next turn, which means our Thwart Plucker this turn is even better. We're going to put him down to three cards in hand. Um, and this is, again, you're going to see why Thwart Plucker is just so insane. It's going to force um, Kinger to use their gold before they want to. They have to use their gold on my turn um, immediately before I've done anything, and that lets me make just optimal, optimal plays. Um, I could Amnesia away the Ancient Champ, but it's just a little too early for that. Um, I would like to get a second card into his graveyard with Thought Plucker before I do it. Um, attack with Thought Plucker. Uh, in case he has shenanigans, we're just going to kill another Watchful Gargoyle. We're going to set up the kill. Um, if, he, if he wants to kill my Force Major Apprentice instead of my Thought Plucker, that's fine with me. And any card that would kill both will also kill Watchful Gargoyle. Uh, so if we get him dead here, we're going to we're gonna do... Oh, wow. So I was wrong. Oh, no, wait. It's, is it, it's all creatures, right? Yeah, so... Oh, it's only ones I control. Wow. Plague was a great play right there from our opponent. We got somewhat outplayed, uh, so now we're definitely gonna um, we're definitely gonna play keeper. Uh, we're going to banish the plague, leave the ancient chant. Then on our turn, we're gonna play winter fairy, activate the re or activate draw card, and get the recycle. And we're gonna do drain essence, and then the other winter fairy. So we got a little bit outplayed right there. That was a, a solid play from Kinger. Uh, Hurricane's great for us right here. It's an off-turn sweeper. And we'll draw a card from the Winter Fairy dying. And it'll kill all of his board. So that's really good. And then after his board is gone, we can amnesia it away. And take away his ability to recycle. And that's why being patient with uh, that card is sweet. Alright. Uh, let's get back into the game with Deans. We were pretty far ahead. So as we said, they were going to attack with everything for us. Walking into a Spike Trap. And I'm guessing since it, and then we get to recycle, we will eat lying in wait and deadly raid. Actually, we're gonna leave lying in wait. We know that we have memory spirit in our deck, so we can get that back. And then, still on our opponent's turn, we can do something else. So we'll just draw two cards. Uh, we'll just drop in a Winter Fairy. Actually, we'll play Warrior Golem, reveal Winter Fairy, and Blue Dragon. 
boop, boop, send in the warrior golem and see what happens. Okay, now let's get back to the constructed game. I really prefer constructed, so that's what I'm going to keep checking in on. Uh, that's my, my jam. Withers happening, winter fairy down, we draw an extra card. That's fine. Spike trap's a great draw. Uh, he's got two in the graveyard now. Uh, makes me worry about recycle. I definitely want to wait, though, so we're, we're just going to be patient. Yeah, we're just going to be patient and wait. Uh, we're going to discard Psionic Assault. Actually, he's got two cards. That could be a good play, too. Um, no, we're going to discard Psionic Assault. Um, we're just not going to play that anytime soon. Um, it doesn't make any sense for us. Maybe I should have played it there instead of the Winter Fairy, but uh, I definitely don't want it in my hand right now. Uh, I'm looking to either Hurricane this board away, or Ice Drake blow him out, and then Hurricane the board away. How many cards do I have? Yeah, I have enough in here to uh, recycle with the Keeper again. So we're probably going to go with Ice Drake, blow him out. Yeah. We'll start with Recall on Psionic Assault. Follow that up by Recycling. We will put Force Major Furnace and Winter Fairy on the bottom, leaving the Almighty Plucker in the graveyard in case we find our final task. Okay, and then we'll show Psionic Assault and Keeper. This will tap down all of his blockers, or rather all of his attackers and potentially blockers. Um, we do have Spike Trap, but we're not going to waste it here because we're going to play into Hurricane on our opponent's next turn. Uh, we'll get into the Dark Draft with Kinger. Uh, it's really hard for me. All right, this is me being disciplined. I love me Thought Plucker. But uh, Angel of Death is the card that we need, so that's what we're going to take. But Thought Plucker is my favorite card. Uh, we're going to grab Bitten, and we're going to grab Pegasus. Actually, we're going to grab Hasty Retreat. Alright, so we're going to throw the Ice Drake out to block. We knew that already. Uh, we're not going to bother with Spike Trap in here. It's just not worth it. Okay, we bounce off. Opponent still has their gold. Plays a creature. That's good. We can't deal with it. That's bad. Uh, okay. We're going to have to just take 13 here. It's part of the cost of doing business. Okay, second hurricane. Uh, so I'm just going to attack with everything here, and then hurricane the board on my turn. Uh, I don't want to risk him making his lord un unblock or un unbreakable again. And we have enough cards in our hand that we can reestablish control after the hurricane. We can play keeper and control this graveyard. Okay. We have to have Amnesia, actually, because there's too many cards, and we need to take away Recycling. He's going to get a draw off the Ancient Chant, but uh, we need to do it, so... Uh, Keeper and Hurricane are the weakest two left, so we'll do that. One, two, draw. And we have eight cards, so we'll jam down the Keeper. Uh, he has Blitz, but we'll just hold him. Our opponent's likely to do something. Uh, because sometimes your dog is bigger than you? I don't know. <laughs> Wither on Keeper, that's aggressive. That's a, that's a very aggressive play from Kinger. <laughs> uh, zombie the draw two. Okay. 
So now we're going to start the psionic assault chain on his turn, assuming that the play that he makes isn't super crazy good. We may have to time bender to keep alive. Um, uh, Dra Draka also flies for whatever that's worth. So she's pretty good. Noble Unicorn, that card's solid. Um, we have time to wait on Noble Unicorn. We can drain essence that on our turn. I want a Psionic Assault while the gold is down. Uh, we have we have Demon covered by uh, Spike Trap. That's fine. Opponent's turn end phase. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jam the psionic assault in there. Hit Kanger in the face. And again, the good thing about this play is it just really cuts down Kanger's options. Uh, we're definitely not going to let Noble Unicorn get him back in the game, though. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, sometimes flying over the dog makes sense. Although, if, they, if he attacks into it, he does deal 3 damage, so they would trade for whatever that's worth. Uh, it looks like Kinger has a tough decision on what to discard, so I'll slide over to uh, the game with Deans. We were pretty far ahead in this from what I remember. Uh, they played Zombie Apocalypse. Interesting. That's that's pretty early on that. Uh, we get to Recycle. Uh, we'll get rid of the Warrior Golem and the Standalone. Those are the two least likely to be effective cards for us. Let's hit, let's hit like an Ogre Merc off the top. Sea Titan. That card's great. I feel, this feels pretty one-sided and unfair. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Dark Drift with Kinger. Uh, we're going to grab Drain Essence because we're forcing evil, but a bunch of good cards in there. I can't bring myself to do that one. That's 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 too much forcing evil. Get some draw twos, let's do some good stuff there. Uh, we'll jump in here with Wasabi. This draft we were pretty deep into. We're Heavy Evil, or we're Heavy Sage, or rather Wild. Heavy Wild with a smattering of other things. All right. Um, this is the best card in the pack, then. Uh, we're going to grab this, and we're going to grab the Sweeper Draw 2. Give this back to Orion. Oh, we got past the Sea Titan. Whew! Whew! That's, that's a spicy meatball. Um... We're going to grab Inheritance, but wow, pass to Sea Titan. Orion's a good player, too. I know them. Uh, so that whatever they passed, whew, whatever they got must have been real good. Sea Titan is very high up on the uh, list of cards to take. There are no cuts in draft. That is a big problem that I have with draft. I have said a lot to people about that. I am unhappy with it. Um, I really wish there was another card involved. All right, we have to end our turn, and we're going to discard Psionic Assault because our hand, our opponent's hand, is already gone. Get back into our game with Kinger. All right, so we've we've landed Psionic Assault. Kinger has discarded two cards. Let's find out. Drain Essence and Angel of Light. Those are great for us to see hit the bin. Um, we're just going to drain essence this noble unicorn. We just can't afford to let him have good cards in his hand to let him start drawing back into the game. We have six cards. He's got one, or, or he's got two. We need to just keep leveraging our, our uh, position here. Spike Trap can cover his demon token. He didn't even have a play on our turn. That's great. That is amazing. Uh, I'm probably looking to cast Time Bender here. That'll get me back my psionic assault, deal with the demon token. Um, actually, I can just spike trap it. We'll see. We'll see what uh, Kanger does. I feel like we're super uh, far advantaged. Um, so in the limited six, so in random sixty, 
you get to make a 30 card deck and if you don't like your 60 you can mulligan to a 56 card deck which is also pretty sweet um i don't remember if they let you mulligan to 52 or not um but i think i think it's only 56 uh it's called dark draft because the information is face down um they have open draft in which the information is face up uh, i'm going to elect to spike trap here i don't want to use my gold before kinger um, we'll put Amnesia right to the bottom and Keeper of Secrets. Um, but in, in Dark Draft, which is the heads up format um, that we do here on the app, there is not uh, any cuts. It's you, you draft 30 cards, you play 30 cards. And that is much to my lament. I really wish that we got to make some cuts. I think it would make the format better if we got to cut some cards. Oh, we're in the attack step here. So we're up six cards to three against Kinger. Um, assuming that he does something, we're going to play... Alright, so he's drawing two cards. We're going to have to match suit. Um, I really wish we could play something else, but... Uh, oh, there we go. We have a reason to play our card. Great. Thank you, Kinger. So they're going to... He's going to recycle away the Ancient Chant. Um, and the reason for that is to draw an extra card. But because of that, he's going to walk into me casting Timebender, which is going to get me back my Psionic Assault. And I'm going to have board presence with cards in hand, which is the ideal scenario. Uh, of these two, the one I care about the most is Faithful Pegasus, so we're going to eat that with the Timebender first. And then we'll figure out Priestess Evangeline later. Uh, my opponent's life total is irrelevant. I'm only going to win the game when he runs out of cards anyway. And by that I mean cards in his hand. I'll make sure he never wins the game via decking. Uh, so he's down to one card in his graveyard. Uh, we get to play... Time vendor. We're gonna re we're gonna get recall first, and we're gonna show psionic assault and erase. And then we are gonna banish a zero cost champion. Faithful Pegasus, goodbye. Yeah, random 60 is coming. Um, so, no, they don't throw cards away, um, Chris. The way the limited format works is you actually bring your own cards to the tournament. And you, you build the decks from your own cards. Uh, your entry fee is... The, the entry fees for the tournaments are actually pretty small. Because you provide most of the uh, things that are needed for it yourself. Uh, we're just going to jam Psionic Assault here. Uh, just keep Kinger's hand size down. Uh, we have great reactive spells. And... We're pretty comfortable. Uh, while Kinger's thinking of what to play and or discard, we'll move into these games. So we were drafting with Kinger, we're forcing evil. Plentiful Dead is the card we want for that, but we're passing a surprise attack, which is pretty bad for us. We get Medusa. Again, we're getting rewarded. Uh, both of these cards have high loyalty requirements. And I don't think... Uh, we have good Sage. We have a decent Sage count. Let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 Sage. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4 good. Um, but this one has Ambush, so it's the one we're going to take. Uh, we'll hop in here fast. Take a peek. We're grabbing 2. And we're going to grab uh, Pack Alpha and Secret Legion. And out of here, we grab Muse and have a party. That card's so good. Against Wasabi. Uh, we're going to... We're mostly wild with a little bit of Sage. So we're going to grab a Race. Memory Spirit's a good card too, but we can't afford Medusa. And then Rain of Fire is great for us. And Thrasher Demon's great. So we're going to grab that. And I think that's our 30, so our, deck with, our game with Wasabi can start soon, and Kinger's waiting for us. Um, I have a ton of promos. In fact, um, I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to start giving away promos as part of the stream. Um, one of the stretch goals is alternate art drain essence in the game. Um, and yes, I believe it's going to be a toggle on or off. It won't be a forced you into it. Um, although Drain Essence has sweet art, I really, really, really enjoy the art on, um, 
Okay, so he drained essence to my time bender. I really enjoy the art on the original, even though the um, the alternate art is pretty cool. Uh, but the original one looks like it. It's it, it's actually uh, if you look at it here, I can pull it up even. Um, so even though this is a like a dark elf, to me it looks like Darth Vader a little bit, and so it reminds me of Star Wars. So I get really excited. Uh, it's like a like drink taking from Darth Vader. It's so cool. But anywho. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to use any art that you want for uh, Constructed. Uh, Priestess Evangeline, that card's fine. Our opponent's just going to recycle. Again, we don't care. Uh, we're going to be able to play Ancient Chant, get back our, um, our Psionic Assault, and continue doing that. So that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so back to what I was saying. I have I have a bunch of extra Veldins that I was able to get from my friends who went to PAX. And I fully intend on using them uh, as promotions for the stream. So everyone should be able to enjoy that. Ceasefire. I promise I won't attack you anymore on your turn. But you gain some life from his priestesses. Alrighty, now that I have priority, we're going to wither away the priestesses. Uh, that's mostly just to keep the board in our favor. And we're, we know we're going to be discarding hand size very soon, because that's going to happen, and that's going to happen. Uh, we're going to go to our turn. Okay. Once again, we just fire off Psionic Assault. Keep Kinger's hand down. And eventually he's going to run out of card draw. And then from there we'll be able to take over the game. Wasabi Mold 2. Looks like that means we're on the play. Uh, Alright. Uh, we're going to select nothing. And we're going to fire off a Jungle Queen. That's going to give our Rampaging Worm Blitz. And our Trike Blitz. Whew, or um, Ambush rather. This, this hand's really brutal if Wasabi can't deal with some of the threats that we have. Uh, let's get right back into this game with Kinger. Angel. Uh, so that gets him back a Priestess. Uh, that's fine with me. Uh, and then he has to discard two more cards. So maybe he can get back a better card from his hand. We can't really control that, but it is what it is. We do have the Hurricane to deal with anything that's kind of small. And we have... Uh, Ice Drake and Erase to deal with anything kind of big. And Spike Trap can blow out the Angel. So we'll see what we get. Uh, this is the last pack with Kinger. We're forcing Evil, uh, but we're not forcing it over Lightning Storm. That card's too good. Uh, we'll grab Succubus and we'll grab Flame Strike. Alright. Get back into this dark draft with Orion. We are a smattering of everything. We got some good, all the good cards. So we'll grab these two. These are the best two cards in here. Um, so White Dragon um, bugged right now. Because of the bug, White Dragon's the best card in this pack. Um, because you always get to recycle with it. Until they fix it, um, White Dragon's going to be like a super highly coveted card. Um, <sighs> um, I think our best case here is to just uh, take four. Taking four doesn't matter yet. We just take this four. The protector is sleepy because of uh, it being discarded. Our opponent's gold is up. Four damage is not that relevant. Uh, 
Um, our opponent's passing to us, and I'm pretty happy with that. I don't want to uh, give them a chance to draw more cards, so we'll just take it. Uh, Muse was a great draw. We're just going to throw out Kong and eat the Angel of Mercy. And uh, we've now established the board, and we have a win condition. Um, okay. Kinger chose to draw two. That's great for us. Uh, that means um, we're going to really have a strong set of punishes. Being able to play Triceratops off turn is amazing. It's got breakthrough and replaces itself. That's going to force uh, Wasabi to deal with it. And then when he does, we can just punish him even harder with Rampaging Worm. And if he has a blocker for that, we can punish him with Rage. We're probably winning this game on turn two, on our second turn. It's a really strong, strong hand. Uh, that's why we draft those cards. So if you ever watch me play Dark Draft, uh, there's a reason why we target the punishes in the off turn plays. And that's exactly why. Um, we just put our position where even if they have the right answer, they lose. Uh, so in comes Angelic Protector. Uh, we can just we can afford to just take this. We don't care. Again, we 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 gain twenty life off of the uh, the two drain essences or eighteen life. So we we can we can wait a little bit, see what happens, make our plays after. You know we're very far ahead. We win this race right now. So Kinger has to develop the board a little more. And then once that happens, we can figure out what the best punish is. The deck with Kinger I was a little less happy about. Uh, they're going first. Uh, this hand's fine. And then Dark Draft with Orion. This is the one where we have a bunch of good cards, right? Yeah, we just... All right, so it looks like we're picking up a couple of uh, Sage cards. We've got one, two, three, four, five out of our 13 cards are Sage. So we're going to pay off that with this. Wither's a solid card, but I want to make sure we can get our loyalty on this. Uh, if we took Vampire Lord Wither, that'd be fine even. But we're not going to make much hay there. I want to grab the ones to trigger my Psionic Assault and my Blue Dragon. And although Wither is good, um, these two cards are also great. Ambush play, Blitz play, both have Airborne. Okay, looks like Kinger made a move. Hopefully it was playing something so we can punish. Yep, Palace Guard. So Palace Guard's going to eat the Kong. That means we get to play Hurricane. Oh, and a White Dragon. Woo! Three for ones. I love three for ones. Um, so Kinger's going to get to recycle. Um, and then we get to play Hurricane as an off-turn sweeper. Wipe the board. And then drop in a Muse to draw some extra cards. Draw a second Muse, that's amazing. Um, so since we have second Muse, we're going to attack with first Muse. Uh, we also haven't seen an Amnesia or anything of that sort from Kinger yet, so that means we might be uh, pretty well off as far as um, winning via decking could go. It's possible that could happen. I don't I don't really look for it. Um, I think we've only seen good faction cards and Drain Essence as well, like very limited cards. Uh, so I'm interested to see what his deck list looks like later maybe, because um, I think that he's missing out on a lot of key important cards. All right, getting in there for two with that Muse. All right, uh, my gold's up, his gold's up. We're further advanced. I'd like to just pass here and see what they have to do. You know, this is, again, we have seven cards, they have two. All right, so Angel of Mercy's in play. We're just going to erase that. Put it back in his hand. We draw two cards. We got the Memory Spirit we were playing for earlier, and we get back Psionic Assault. Uh, we're going to choose to end the turn here. Uh, because we have Memory Spirit, uh, we're going to get rid of these two cards. Actually, we're going to keep lying and wait and get rid of Ancient Champ. We have an Ice Drake already. 
We don't need two. I want the off turn sweeper. Um, yeah, this is the way we're going to play it. And then we're going to psionic assault our opponent on their turn, for sure. Uh, we know one of the cards is Angel of Mercy. Uh, we know the other one um, is random. They just drew it from the top. So the best case scenario for Kinger is that he drew a draw two card. And even then, he's going to net out. He's going to go up to four, back down to two, and then try to play that Angel on my turn to go back down to one card in hand. And that's basically all my decks ever try to do in Constructed, is run their, run their cards out so they can't kill us, and then we start attacking. And we'll chip our way through, um, but we're not in any hurry to do so. And we're probably going to Memory Spirit that Drain Essence, because we're kind of lower on life than I'd like to be. We're down to 18. Uh, best possible draw, if we hit that Psionic Assault play, is Final Task for Thought Plucker. That would pretty much take care of anything, and then the Final Task would hit us... It would have to hit for us. The ideal draw would be Amnesia, so that his Angel being the last card would get blown out. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, we can see here our opponent has six creatures in the graveyard, so something... There. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so Avenging Angel's coming in. Uh, we just throw down an Ice Strike here. Uh, Ice Strike blocks it, kills it, everything's great. Uh, we're not going to bother with Loyalty, because we know it's fine. Just block. We're going to attack with the Ice Streak. We're not going to anticipate a block. We're going to play Attack with Muse. We're expecting him to play the Angel to throw it in front. And then we're going to just erase the Angel. And basically just reset to where we were last turn. I'm interested to see that he's not blocking with the Angel. Uh, that's very surprising to me. Um, based on where the game is, we're going to discard Winter Fairy. Uh, after we draw a billion cards off our race. Okay, well, instead we're going to discard Ancient Chant and then probably Winter Fairy. Yep. Just Sorcery Speed cards aren't really where you want to be. We have plenty of cards in our hand. Winter Fairy is just not doing anything. Take control of the game. We're pretty far ahead here. Even though King is ahead by 15 life points, we have Board, we have Dominating Hand, and we have Dominating Graveyard. Like, we have Double Ancient Chant in here. So even if he gets our hand out, Triple Ancient Chant, even if he figures out a way to get our hand down, it's not going to keep it down for long. There we go. So he's played Angel of Mercy to, to play White Dragon correctly. And I really appreciate that from Kinger. Like I was saying before, White Dragon's actually uh, glitched right now. But he did play it correctly. Ooh, there goes the Guilt Demon. Let's see what he picks. Um, and his hand's really low right now, so I'm probably going to Hurricane. Even though it cost me my Muse. I can just reestablish with this Muse. Oh, he's probably going to get my Psionic Assault. No, it's in my hand. So what's he going to Guilt Demon? It's very interesting. I think he should have held the Guilt Demon to get my Psionic Assault so that he could have a chance to rebuild his hand. Um, but we're definitely going to lose one card. I doubt it's going to be Ancient Chant. Uh, it's probably going to be Thought Plucker. <clears throat> there it goes. See? Told you. And the next card, when he attacks, assuming he's going to attack with the Guilt Demon, what would I pick? I'd pick Drain Essence if I was him. Uh, but this is going to get the uh, the Hurricane out of me for sure. No, we got Ice Streak. Interesting. Um, I would have picked the Drain Essence. Uh, but we're going to deal 9 damage to each champion. Yell at him, T-Rex. Play Muse. I could have waited until the end of the turn, but... Oh, that's the card we were looking for, everybody. Huzzah! Select Kinger. You will not recycle. Uh, we will definitely be recycling. Uh, we have so many cards in our hand that we don't want to do that. Um, we'll pick our zeros. We'll put Spike Trap on the bottom and Muse. That way we'll draw them together.
Oh, and there's the plucker. Um, so we're just going to jam this in case this is a draw two. And that's pretty much going to be the end of this game. Uh, I'm going to be able to do a lot of things with Timebender and Sea Titan. If I was Kinger, I would concede right now, considering how far behind they are in this game. But <clears throat> some people want to keep playing even though they're dead. So that's fun. I'll move over to uh, one of my other games here. Let's see. Uh, Wasabi and I. Uh, Avenging Angels coming in. Um, all right. Well, um, there's a Brave Squire on it, so I can't kill it. Uh, so we're just going to have to take this. All righty. Uh, so it looks like we're going to have to Lightning Storm that Avenging Angel on our turn. Uh, let's get back to the constructed game with Kinger. Let's see what they discarded. Um, at midnight, I'm probably going to shut down the stream tonight. I was up a little too late last night, and I need to uh, do some things at home. Okay, we played Amnesia. Oh, we have to watch through all this again. And then I draw Plucker, and then I play Plucker. Okay, here comes the pluck, and it's Angelic Protector. Okay, send in the Muse. Uh, that's just a free attack. We you know opponent has no cards in hand, so might as well. Um, this is really tough for Kinger to come back from now. Pretty much needs to draw two, and then figure out an extra thing after that because Thought Plucker is in play. Uh, they're ending their turn. I'm fine with that. We'll just take our turn. Draw a bunch of cards. Send in the pluck. Uh, so we have to assume this is a draw two. There's no reason to have uh, done anything else on their part. Okay, it's not a draw two. What would they have not played? I'm very interested to find that out now. Angel of Light. That's an interesting decision. I'm, I'm sure the king is just just, uh, just unhappy with the game and wants to concede, but feels uh, obligated to not do so. Uh, but I, I would not be upset. Uh, you can just you can just concede if you want, Kinger. In the upper left corner on the shields, as soon as you have priority, you can just elect to concede. Uh, but. I won't be offended by that at all. So here, I'll pass you priority. Um, I have to discard down. I will discard Psionic Assault and Lying in Wait. And now the shield will go to you, and, and just click the sword in the shield and press concede. Uh, but that was a good game. I had a lot of fun. I'm uh, I'm sorry it ended up that way. Uh, you know, the, the, that's the way my decks are designed to be built, to uh, run you out of cards and then take over. You You played pretty well from what I saw your hands as. Um, I would move away from so much good cards. The good in core set is pretty weak overall. Just grabbing the best cards in the pack. We had loyalty for Steel Golem, so we grabbed that one. All right, we went to our door. <laughs> oh, I saw this hand already. Okay. So Kinger has the T-Rex with the Strafing Dragon and Bellowing Minotaur. That's probably the worst case scenario for us because we don't want to, uh, we don't want to play anything into that, really. Um... Yeah, I don't want to erase it, uh, so we'll just take our turn. That's probably the absolute worst case scenario of cards that Kinger could have had. I could have made a zombie here. I'm just not thinking. I didn't want to make it on his turn in case he had an, um, like a card to get rid of my graveyard. I needed to make sure that I broke this champion. But I definitely could have played this better. I should have a 2-2 zombie and be at 29. Alright, I caught up with everybody. Whew, been a long night. 
So after this match with Kinger, uh, I'm probably going to be done for the night. After this uh, this draft, I've got uh, Kinger, and then if if uh, Wasabi is still here, or Deans is still here, they seem pretty upset about how this game is going. All right, this was the one where I made him discard his hand. Yeah. So I'm going to go into the game with Kinger, and then if I get notifications about other ones, I'll hop into them. Fireball. That's probably going to kill my my uh, Dark Assassin. Yep, man down. Alrighty, uh, well. I wish we could have got an extra turn. But, such is life. But these are two of the best cards in Wild. Raging T-Rex established him, drew him two cards. This re-established him and has Airborne. It's just very solid. It's going to force me to use Drain Essence now. <sighs> Very good cards from Kinger. Uh, hopefully we draw some better cards from our deck. Yeah, we've got a lot of good ones. We just uh, aren't seeing them right now. Uh, we kind of forced Evil a little bit. Um, we already paid off uh, one of our major loyalties. We still have Angel in our deck, and we still have Medusa in our deck, and we still have Succubus in our deck, and we still have Necromancer in our deck, so... We have to be mindful of that, but I need to really play this Drain Essence, so I'm not going to forget this time. First, we're going to make our Zombie. Then we're going to make our Drain Essence. And then, because this is a May, it's going to ask us if we want to or not, but we definitely do. And so, that's that. Now, Kinger gets to punish us, because we had to use our gold early. Winter Fairy, that card's pretty good. Uh, we're going to have to erase that, but we're falling way behind on cards. I'll uh, keep her to, to recycle, too. Wow. Uh, yeah, Kinger's deck's doing really well for him. We need to draw some of our, our better cards here. Um, and I don't know if we're going to do that. Uh, that card's good, but it's not really what we need right now. Um, we need to draw two cards, so let's start there. Flash fire is not going to help. Yeah, flash fire and lash doesn't seem very good. Let's get in for two and see what happens. Still waiting. Just getting back to Jonah. He sent me a message earlier, so. Making sure everything's okay. Okay. 
Kinger seems to be thinking pretty long and hard, and that's okay. Okay, so King was just taking it, and we'll move on. Uh, I don't have any other plays here. That's a juggernaut. Yeah, we're just getting raffle stomped right now. We don't really have good cards to deal with any of this stuff. Um, like, Memory Spirit can get back a race for us. If <laughs> if he doesn't get rid of it right away. Or oh, we can get Drain Essence. We, 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 we're going to need to get life back. Um, before he uses Keeper to stop us, we're going to get this Drain Essence back. And we're going to take this damage. Uh, we just need we need to make sure he couldn't stop us with keeper. Yeah, sorry, I'm in a different window too. Too many people messaging me. So on our turn, we have a couple of different ways to handle this. Uh, it's going to really depend on when we draw. Luckily, our early drain essence gave us a nice big cushion. I would imagine Keeper is going to get rid of our race. Yeah. Watchful Gargoyle. That makes everything here makes me just wish I had a uh, different card. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is send in Zombie Token. Our hope is that they block with Watchful Gargoyle. If they do, we have some fun, interesting options. Okay, we're going to send a memory spirit for the same reason.
We have to make sure Keeper dies to keep our Lash around. And that resets the board, gets us into a position to play the game again. Hopefully, Kinger can't kill us. No one else is waiting, so we can wait for Kinger now. That's great. Draw, draw two is amazing. We um so by using that play where we did the lash, we use zero cards, and so <clears throat> even though Kinger drew two cards, the board stayed even. So even though his hand's higher than ours, we're actually not behind anymore. Uh, we just need to make sure we can keep up tempo, and we'll be fine. In the ideal world, right now, Kinger plays a good champion, and we can use Succubus to banish it. Siege Hydra is not a do-nothing establishing card. That's pretty brutal for us. Uh, we can't do anything about it, so we need to just draw some cards and hope that the rest of our deck bails us out. Uh, and there's Bitten. That'll bail us out on our turn. And we're even going to get a zombie out of it. How cool is that? And now Kinger has like eight or nine cards. And so all that drawing that was done is going to get offset and have to discard. And so it's going to be seven cards to six, and we're going to be ahead again. Or, I'll say ahead, but we'll be in the game. And we're up, and we, they know that we have Drain Essence, and we know we have solid cards here. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with how the game turned around for us. Uh, we, had to, we had to just navigate through that Juggernaut. Um, the play where we flash-fired the board, double-lashed, a lot of people don't see that kind of play, and it worked out. Oh, Medusa! Whoo! So we went from having to cast Bitten on Sea Hydra to being able to make some demons. So we're, we're going to make some demons. Whew. That's amazing. We should have had a zombie too. I'm not paying attention. Getting kind of late at night and doing too many different things at once. But uh, yeah, we should have had a demon there. Or a zombie rather. But Thought Plucker. Ah, good. Now we get rewarded for not uh, <laughs> for not doing that. All right, remember we have Lash in the graveyard, so we're probably going to just Lash that Thought Plucker. We'll take five from the Hydra, figure everything out later. Um, I might block with a Demon. It depends how I'm feeling. Because I have Bitten and Medusa, I'm less worried about the overall power of the Sea Hydra. Um, yeah, Lash is just really, really good against Thought Plucker. We have to remember for our loyalty triggers that uh, our opponent already knows about Drain Essence. We return that with a Memory Spirit. So that's important for us to do. In comes the Hydra, so I think we just take five here. It gives us time to react, to, re to relax. We could also triple block. Actually, I like triple blocking. We have Rage to make sure it dies. 
And uh, it'll only kill one of our demons to kill his guy without using our gold. And if he has some combat trick or some big trick, that's fine. We still can just kill it with either of these cards. Yeah, so there's Forked Lightning. Uh, we'll just let this all happen. That's fine. We chased his gold. That's that's more than enough for us. Uh, and we, we also do... Oh, that's interesting. So he chose to hit us, and because of that, we're going to punish with Rage. And again, that just makes it so that we don't have to worry about reestablishing. Uh, he's only going to kill one demon. And this is why zeros are really powerful. Uh, you can see, like, Flash Fire, Lash, Plentiful Dead. All these zeros are really making me um, be able to make multiple plays in one turn. Whereas it feels like Kinger's deck is mostly ones. Like, he had the Keeper, but if you look, everything else in his deck is a one-cost card. And uh, that lets me take a lot of uh, liberties and make a lot of plays that are advantageous. Um, in situations like that, where my gold was down, he tried to punish me, and instead now I have board control. Trike is a great draw for us. Uh, we want to hold back on our evil cards because we want to ambush Medusa. Um, so we're just going to start, see what a uh, demon token can get for us. We see a Fireball and a Kong. Those are great cards. Um, we are not happy about seeing those things, but uh, we don't want to present a good target for the. Oh wait, we shouldn't have played that. We should. Oh no, we have to get back the. We'll get back Plenty of Dead off the trigger. Um, we need to be mindful of the Kong. Uh, we can't do anything about the Fireball, but we need to be mindful of the Kong as best we can. We really don't want to expose something to it. Like, best case scenario, or worst case scenario, I want to go ambush Medusa and then have him use his gold on his turn to Kong. But, like, that's the only card left in our hand that kills Kong, so we have to be very careful. We may have to walk out this Triceratops. Gin of the Sands, that card's great. So he knows we have Drainessence in our hand. He should be definitely drawing a card. But if he just uses, if he decides to attack, we're going to punish him with Rain Essence. And we're going to make an extra zombie. If he doesn't decide to attack, I think we still do that. Yeah. I think we still do that because I can't afford to Medusa. And bringing back Lash just seems awful. So. That card's great. All right, let's uh, start this out, see what we can do. We're very far behind in the draw game, so we need to win by life total, or we need to get into our uh, get into our deck a lot faster. I don't know if we can do that realistically, so I think we need to uh, start going wide with some tokens. Get some damage in here. Get some more damage in here. I wonder how much damage we missed by screwing up Plentiful Dead earlier in the game. All right, so here we're gonna play Suck um, because we can show we can play it without showing Medusa. Once again, we missed the Plentiful Dead trigger. Uh, all right, good. Uh, we'll show Apocalypse because we're probably not gonna be sweeping.
volume weight would be even further away from drawing out. It's pretty brutal. But we did chase Kinger's gold for that, so that's good for us. Eventually this Kong has to happen, and then when, once Kong happens, we can kind of get back into a more aggressive position. But I feel very, uh, very scared of Kong. Because if, if, I, if I throw out a trike, it's basically just throwing it into a Kong. And if I can't use Medusa until I see Kong, but now that we have Inner Demon, we have a way to break it and get advantage on our turn. Or if somehow we get behind on board, we can Apocalypse. Um, I think we still have a, we have Dark Knight left in the deck. That's a great aggressive draw. What else is in our deck that we haven't seen yet? I think our Dark Assassin's on the bottom. That'd be a great draw when we get to it. Time Bender, we're really far away from having loyalty on. Opponent played Soul Hunter. That's that's pretty brutal for us. Uh, we'll make this. Then we'll go draw two cards. Flame Strike. That's a great draw. Angel of Death is also a great draw. Let's replay Plentiful Dead. We're just trying to get some aggression here. Get some life total. Now, now we have a goal. This means if we get an 8, we win. So... Murderous Necromancer is great, very aggressive. Uh, this is a great target to uh, eat that Kong out of our opponent's hand. We can play Murderous Necromancer, make three zombies go wide. He plays Kong, kills it. We respawn with Medusa, kill the Kong, crack back to get him to eight, and then kill him with Flame Strike. I definitely see a path here to victory. Uh, it's going to require Kinger to play correctly, but suboptimally based on what our hand is. I also think if we. Um, if we had been making our Plentiful Dead triggers more this game, maybe we would have put it away a while ago. Uh, I'm just playing pretty poorly. A lot of that has to do with being fatigued and tired. Okay. And then I'll just do the battle pass here, so that way, if Kinger doesn't have an ability, we'll just go right through it. Upgraded Fireball, alright. Well, since we lost our board, we need to remake it. We'll do that with Murderous Necromancer. Uh, we will pay one health to recall first. And then reveal it and Inner Demon, because we showed Inner Demon earlier. And that'll make us three, uh, three zombies. We'll pass. Uh, that's also likely going to, again, we're probably going to get Konged here onto our Murderous Necromancer. Uh, while he's thinking, let's get into our other games. I think Wasabi's kicking my butt in this game. That happened. We took that. Okay, we're going to play this trike. Draw a card. And end the turn. Dean's made a play for us, so we can take this turn. Okay, Psionic Assault. We're going to see Dark Assassin come down. Without loyalty. Uh, okay, uh, let's just throw down Crystal Golem. We're going to see tighten the uh, Assassin back to his hand. So we're happy with that. Okay, we drew Apocalypse, but we don't want to do that. We're just going to put all six copies of Lightning Storm. Apply. Send in the trike. Uh, we will always accept dark draft challenges.
Um, so going heavy evil is awkward, even though we have two, we have a bunch of evil solid cards here. I want to just pass it off, but let Wasabi do it if he wants to. Uh, and then we'll get back into this game with Kinger. Where'd it go? There it is. There's the Kong. Like I said, we knew that was coming. Uh, so Plentiful Dead. Medusa. Get back Plentiful Dead. Show Plentiful Dead and Inner Demon. And get the Kong. And play Plentiful Dead again. And again, this is just to get as wide as we possibly can to try to get into that life total. Okay, zombie first. Uh, so he's incentivized to take all the hits from the zombies to play around the Medusa. And so um, <clears throat> we're going to see if we can chase his gold out with the, with the zombies. It's up to Kinger to make a move. Can't do much else. Let's see if there's anyone else waiting for me. Ah, I got this draft here with Wasabi going along. My trike's coming in. I'm getting amnesia. Lightning storm gone. Um, our opponent's gold is up, so we're definitely not going to attack with Jungle Queen here. She did a lot of great things for us already, so as long as we can flash in this Ambush Worm, that's great. Ideally, we're probably going to play Vamp Lord, because we don't want to give up if this has Blitz. The only way that we would flash in the Rampaging Worm is if they attacked with something that we needed to block, like um, Steel Golem or something like that. So standalone's a good play there from Kinger. Uh, just buys some time. We're just gonna reestablish with Trike, draw a card, and figure it out later. Uh, inner piece isn't bad, but it doesn't do anything that we need, so we're not looking at that right now. I'm probably looking to cast Inheritance. Uh, we're, we've actually closed the gap on cards in library pretty well. Uh, part of that's because Kinger recycled, I believe. Or they just, they hit Kinger stopped drawing too. Either either way. Um, we're pushing deeper into our deck faster, which is solid. Uh, Trike drew us a card. The, uh, the Succubus drew us a card when we played it. That's tucked under our deck too, so when we find that, that'll be great. Draw 2 with Divine Judgment tells me that they're trying to win the game in a particular way. Guild Demon's going to get our Plentiful Dead here. That's unfortunate, but we can't do anything about it. <sighs> Alright, so that pretty much means we're not going to be able to win the game via milling. Uh, losing the Lash is huge. I really wanted that. 
Uh, but we'll draw two cards and try to fight through this. Finding that lightning storm is huge. Lightning storm is huge. That's uh, six and eight is fourteen. That's a big game. So we're sending in the trike, trying to get the breakthrough damage over the, the soul hunter. Uh, we'll take five, but that's okay. We, we're not going to lose this game to life. We have inner peace to sta stabilize. Uh, more importantly, we know Kinger doesn't have an inner peace or drain essence. Here comes surprise attack. Uh, we lost our plentiful dead, which actually means we don't have angel of death loyalty anymore. That's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Um, I don't think that I can survive enough turns. I was just going to throw this out to chump to chump block. Um, is there enough turns to win that way? If I play Lightning Storm now, rebuy it on my turn, play it on my turn. No, if he has too many draw twos, I just lose this way. Man, there's not a way I can win the game. I'm, I'm going to lose to the kill demon this way. <sighs> no matter what I do, I just I'm in such a terrible position. If he has just draw two, because I just lose the game. I don't have amnesia, I don't have any way to collect his graveyard, and I'm just getting trounced. Oh, he has amnesia. Even better. That's good for me, though, if he recycles. That means it's uh, he's he delays his win by a turn. And the delay that he's spending makes me think he's actually going to be recycling, which is great. Yep, recycle. That's great for us. Gives us a chance at a win. It's basically like a time walk. I could attack, but that's just not a good idea. Just picking the best cards in the pack. Uh, Bellowing Minotaur would have been better for um, loyalty, but it's early enough that I can make loyalty work later. 
uh, we are very heavy sage. We have almost no evil. So this is actually we're going to do this. Uh, guilt demons too good to pass around. And as you can see here, in certain games, you get to a situation where me and King are in where uh, or me and uh, me and King are in where you're so far behind on board. Who's getting broken? Trike down. That's not good for us. That's his end phase. His gold is down. Uh, I want a vampire lord. Pass back. All these cards are amazing, but Kong is just the overall best, and so we're going to nab that. Um, this is my game with Kinger. So let's get back to this one. Alright, Soul Hunters coming in. Force Major Apprentice killed that. Uh, we're, we're just definitely not blocking. We're ecstatic that our opponent attacked for us. Uh, we're definitely going to draw two off this Ancient Chant. Try to find some more loyalty stuff. Uh, we know we're not going to win via anything other than um, damage, but the problem is we can't we can't make damage work. So we just need to find cards to make that work. Um, time vendors a start, but it's really not what we need. Um, Banishment's a good answer to Soul Hunter, but we can't afford to give our opponent a card. Um, uh, we're just going to have to inner demon the palace guard. We make a demon. And we attack. On our turn, we can banishment on the soul hunter and re establish the game. Yep, the ice drake came in as soon as we we got rid of our blocker. That was somewhat expected. Juggernaut, Force Major Apprentice. We are sage heavy. Oh yeah. Grab the good cards. Thought plucker. Thanks for playing. Oh man. Oh. He gets two of these. Woof. Woof. Alright. We're gonna take Kong because we need to get the wild loyalty up, but woof. Those are some goodies. Those were some goodies. All right. Um, I missed how we got here. I don't what? Let's go back to this game log. He played Ice Drake and pinged for two onto my Medusa. And then it didn't ask me if I wanted to do anything because I couldn't. Okay. That's fine. Um, all right, well, let's tap down. Let's do that. That Dark Knight's a huge draw. Uh, Hasty Retreat's super dicey here. If we were to play Hasty Retreat, Kinger would draw an extra card. We can't afford that, so we're gonna let we're just gonna let the six damage in here. We know we have Flame Strike, so and we have Lightning Storm, and we have Fire 
Um, we have flash fire and fireballs in the graveyard. So like almost all the burn is out of the game. And Strafing Dragon is around, but most of the burn's out of the game. We can go to eight or we can go to um, nine rather, rather comfortably here. If he attacks here, we just block with Demon Token and Hasty Retreat. Yeah. Well, Army of the Apocalypse, eh? Okay, everything but Kong dies to Hurricane. We really need to get an evil card off the top of our library here. It's possible that I shouldn't have played Plague. But I couldn't have known that I would have drawn only one. Uh, we're going to have to take this three and go to six. We're going to take five from the gin and go to one. And we're actually we're dead to the Force Major Apprentice if our opponent sees all the attacks that he has. Oh, wait. It says Jin of Sands has uh, sickness. Oh, no. There it is. It's, it's good. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, so does so some of the other guys. Yeah, I'm just dead. All right. We can concede as soon as we get, we get priority. And that's what happens with the Amnesia Army. That's a pretty sweet interaction, and I got crushed by it. All right, there's a couple of games. I hit, I lost. I clicked OK. Please get rid of the game. I don't need to watch the losing synergy again. But uh, that was the last game I was going to stream for the night, so I'm done. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. And uh, I'll probably be back on tomorrow night as well. Uh, great games, great match, Kinger, if you're here. I don't know if you hopped over yet from your stream, but uh, it was a pleasure to play. Uh, congratulations on getting me. And uh, hopefully we get some more games tomorrow. Good night, everybody.